Our next topic in the integrating essential skills category include circumference and we're also going to talk about area and this is with respect to circles. So when we talk about circumference, if you'll remember from the perimeter video, we mentioned that when we're talking about going around a circle, we use different terminology. And what we use is circumference. That represents the distance around a circle. So when we're looking at that, we have a formula to calculate the circumference, and it's going to make use of pi and the radius or the diameter, whichever one you want to use. So if you're given the radius, it's going to be 2 pi r, and if you're given diameter, it's just pi d, because we know that the relationship between radius and diameter, 2 times the radius equals the diameter. So one suggestion when you have any kind of questions that deal with circumference, if you will, before you begin working to figure out the circumference, glance at your answer choices or read the question to see if it specifies if you should use pi in your answer or if you need to plug in 3.14. They'll tell you to plug that in or you'll see your answer will be in decimal point form. Sometimes pi is in there and that's just going to save you a couple of seconds. You're not going to have to plug in that 3.14 and do the, the remainder of the calculation. You can just use pi. If you have to use the 3.14, it's usually going to tell you to use that approximated value. And let's just take a look at an example here. It says, what is the circumference in meters? of the circle with radius equals 5 meters. So we're going to use our formula, c equals 2 pi r, since we were given radius. And when we plug that in, the 5 for radius, we can just multiply 5 times 2, and we get that circumference is equal to 10 pi. Now let's talk about area of a circle. So there's a formula for that, and the area of a circle equals pi r squared, where again r is equal to the radius. We're going to need that radius. You may be given the diameter, and we can go from diameter to radius simply by dividing the diameter by 2, and that will give us the radius. Sometimes we're going to be given radius directly. Other times we have to calculate it from other measures, such as, like I just said, about the diameter, or we may be given the circumference, and we have to calculate the radius, and we can do that. And we know that diameter is equal to 2r, and we know that circumference from the previous work is 2 pi r, so we are able to find the radius if we were given the circumference as well. So remember, when we're talking about area, we're looking inside the space of the circle versus circumference being around the distance around the circle, the outside. So let's take a look at this ACT type example. Pause the video here and work this, and come back and we'll work it together. What is the area of the circle? I'm going to even start glancing down at my choices and I see pies in all of those. That's also going to help me maybe prompt me for my memory of my formula for area and to know that I don't have to plug in a number for pi. I'm just going to use pi. It asks for the area of the circle in meter square with diameter of 10. So if we remember, our formula for area is pi r squared. So we're going to have to take the diameter that we're given of 10 Divide that by 2, and that gives us 5. So really, we're squaring 5. So we have pi 5 squared, which is equal to 25 pi, answer choice C.